Hello, welcome back uh, to my channel, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Dominic Schell, I do fluid art for about 4.5 years um, since the pandemic hit um, and it's been just a blast journey so far and I'm really, um, yeah, it makes me feel very excited and also more balanced in life, been going out from something very difficult in life and yeah, it saves me somehow in some ways. So I'm here now really appreciating all the support, everyone turning in, uh, supporting me, buying my artwork. And today is something special. Um, I will be doing this piece um, for World AIDS Day, International World AIDS Day. Um, it is still such a big journey to find medication to get rid of HIV completely, you know. Um, so many people are suffering with HIV, dying from AIDS still, and it's such a big topic as I think this just needs to get brought to attention here and there, and at least, yeah, once a year. Last year I did a donation to an AIDS organization, and I also want to donate um, a percentage of this piece I will be creating in memorial to Let's say um, thinking about 20 or 30 percent of it will get donated to the AIDS organization, supporting and helping kids, teenagers that yeah that have to deal with the fact that just that they need to be positive. So I will be getting this done. I started recently to paint a little bit more abstract. A little bit away from acrylic pouring, I will keep my acrylic pouring up. But here and there, I will show you a little bit more abstract artwork, more contemporary, and I've been trying that. Here on this piece, I created as a background, uh, yeah, uh, an abstract horizont to give the piece a little bit more depth. Um, also, more vintage style. I used a gray, um, a black. And also grind the canvas in a wise little beach tone. So we'll be working of course with a red on it. We'll go for a zigzag circle or maybe even the ribbon. Uh, I will see how I feel just in a moment and I will get this done. I will display of course everything after and give you close-ups. So, wish me luck and I hope that it really goes well. And yeah, thank you for turning in. This means a lot and this is really for a good cause. So, thank you. Let's start. I want to thank um, everyone that is participating today in this collaboration for being there. Um, also, the three boys of us, we really appreciate that we got our big pouring girls into this collaboration with Mina, Kathleen and Sarah. It means so much to us and is really helping this little collaboration to get more exposure what it really deserves and needs. So thank you for doing this. Thank you Kathleen for starting and starting our collaboration with a nice exposure. Um, we really appreciate everyone joining here so 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 much.
Here are some global HIV statistics from 2020. 37.7 million people globally were living with HIV. About 1.5 million became newly infected with HIV. 680,000 people still died from AIDS-related illness in 2020. In 2010, 7.8 million people were able to assess antiretroviral therapy. Now at the end of December 2020, 27.5 million people were able to assess treatment. AIDS-related deaths have been reduced by 64% since the peak in 2004 and by 47 persons since 2010. The mortality rate has declined by 53% among women and girls and by 41% among men and boys since 2010. COVID-19 and HIV. Studies from England and South Africa have found that the risk of dying from COVID-19 among people with HIV was double that of the general population. Sub-Saharan Africa is home to two-thirds, 67% of people living with HIV. But the COVID-19 vaccines that can protect them are not arriving fast enough. In July 2021, less than 3% of people in Africa had received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. As we see and hear, there are sure numbers that make hope what this piece is about. But it's still a long way and every help is appreciated, every exposure to this topic is appreciated to help people getting treatment to stop people dying from AIDS to stop the stigma of being HIV positive
Just one pill a day can get someone treated. Just one pill a day will give someone hope. And I think hope is what everyone deserves. I'm donating this piece to a donation in Cape Town. It's called Hope, as well as my piece. This organization is supporting and helping kids and teenagers with HIV to really make the best out of their life. So I hope that you yeah, um, enjoy our collaboration. Um, we appreciate the exposure you're giving us with viewing, with liking our content here sharing it and yeah thank you so much for being here i'm sending you off now to the next video of our, our collaboration to my friend mark in the uk and yeah i wish you all happy holidays already um, i hope you had a nice thanksgiving be well and take care